Hello, everyone. Now, today we are going to quickly talk about vasodilation and vasoconstriction. Now, firstly, let us compare a normal capillary to that of a constricted capillary and also a dilated blood capillary. Now, if you notice, the word constricted comes from the word contract, which means to get smaller, while dilation comes from being wider, which also means to relax. And so a dilated capillary will be much wider compared to a constricted capillary. Uh, let's look at this in another way. So for constriction versus dilation, if you notice in constriction, the blood capillaries are much smaller. In dilation, they are much bigger. And also look at the arrow waves. In that dilation, a lot of heat will be removed from the body through the surface of the skin, simply because the blood capillaries will be closer to the surface of the skin in vasodilation. Comparing to that in constriction is that the blood capillaries again move away from the surface of the skin, therefore the heat will retain in the body and less heat will be lost to the environment. I want to compare this now in terms of the blood flow. Now coming from the body, we have warm blood, right? and it will flow towards the surface of the skin Heat will be lost from the surface of the skin into the environment. So the heat that is being lost will result into a cooler blood flowing towards the heart. Now let's look at this in terms of constriction. Warm blood is coming from the body. It flows towards the surface of the skin. Because the blood capillaries are further away from the skin, the little to no heat will be lost. And so therefore, the blood that is flowing back towards the heart will be of a similar temperature. All right? And so the constricted vessels and the dilated vessels, they are mechanisms that bring about homeostasis in the body in terms of maintaining temperature. All right, so what we're going to do now is to do a quick summary table. And so for vasodilation, the capillaries relax, while in vasoconstriction, the capillaries contract. For vasodilation, the capillaries, they will become wider, while in vasoconstriction, the capillaries, they get more narrow. Now, for dilation, the blood flows closer to the surface of the skin, while in constriction, the blood flow further away from the surface of the skin. And in terms of vasodilation, Heat is removed from the body to make the body cooler. While in constriction, heat is retained in the body to maintain body temperature. So based on this information, vasodilation will occur during warmer days, while vasoconstriction will occur during cooler days or when the time is cold. All right, so at this point we end, and I want to thank you for watching, and I want to tell you this, that you should not constrict yourself. You should soar like an eagle to new horizons. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Talk to you soon.